Fleet Farm presents John Gillespie's Waters and Woods. Fleet Farm, the ultimate fishing headquarters. Welcome to John Gillespie's Waters and Woods. Today, Maddie B is teaching us how to fish for midsummer largemouth bass on Delavan Lake. Hey, 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 John Gillespie. Just a big, beautiful fish. Oh, is that awesome. Holy moly! Oh, oh, oh my gosh! <laughs> Look at the size of that one, Danny! Look at the size of that fish. Yes, folks, the dog days of August are here, and we're on Delavan Lake with Dr. Bass, Matt Bachanich. <laughs> and, and Matt, you know, this time of the year when you got water temps 80, 81, 82 degrees, the fish are deep. And, and what are you looking for when you look at the hummingbird? Are you looking for schools of bluegills or yeah, what? Yeah, John, there's two things, deep weeds and a lot of schools of bluegills that get offshore and on, on Delavan here, they get out in 20, 30 feet of water and they come in, they move out and those bass follow them. We got some very special guests with us today. Yeah, hoping to put them on some fish. Yeah, well, we'll meet them right after the commercial break, Sounds all right? Sounds good. Hey folks, so show what we're using and how we're using it. All of that coming up right after this. You can't choose the weather, but you can choose to dress for it. Introducing Blackfish Performance Wear for the ultimate sun protection and cooling comfort. Using chemical-free cooling technology, our Shade and Eclipse series is designed with unique fabric to wick moisture away, as well as create pockets for air to keep you cool. Whether on the boat or on the dock, choose Blackfish, because you can choose the weather. Blackfishgear.com. Folks, with all the rain we've had this summer, what does that mean, Jack? There's lots of black flies, mosquitoes, and lots of ticks. So what do we do? We use Coleman insect repellent. And the reason, Henry, that we use Coleman insect repellent is they have a formula for everyone in the family. For the littler kids like Jack and Christina, I like the Skin Smart Deet Free. And I just put a little bit of that on them in the morning, and that gives them eight hours of protection. Right, Jack? Yeah. OK, Henry, for you and I, we're a little bit bigger, so we use the insect repellent that is called? The Sportsman Formula. Sportsman Formula. It has 40% deet in it. I put it like on you and on your legs like that, buddy. And what does that do? Um, that protects us from the bugs. For eight hours. Mm -hmm. You love your Coleman insect repellent? Yeah. Do you? Yeah. From the makers of the best-selling Yamaha Grizzly and Kodiak 700 comes the all-new Kodiak 450, the world's only mid-size ATV with Yamaha-proven off-road capability, all-day comfort, and confidence-inspired performance. The all-new Kodiak 450, starting at just $59.99. Hey, welcome back, folks. As I mentioned at the top of the program, we're fishing deep for largemouth bass today, and we got some very special guests. This is Scott, this is Valerie, and Scott, you want to tell the folks why you're on the boat today? We won a bait meet contest, and we're very pleased to be here. Well, that's great, and, and Valerie is your other half? Fiance. Fiance, yes. when, are you, when are you getting married? Uh, we don't have a date set yet. Oh, really? Well, if you catch some big bass today, maybe you'll do it tonight, <laughs> right? <laughs> yes. Do it. Yeah. <laughs> well, we never know. All right, let's talk about bait mate. Um, you know, this is the continuous spray can. I love it. Uh, you can hold it any way and soak your bait. But why do you Correct. like to use bait mate? I like it because it keeps the boat clean, the new spray, and it works. Hey, look at that. Scott's Scott, going to be the Scott. first one to put a fish in the boat, I hope. All right, Scott. And he put bait mate on there, too. <laughs> oh, nice, nice bass. Fish. That's a beauty. Oh, that is a beautiful that fish. A nice Nicely one. Nicely done. Hey, stand next to Scott there so we Here, can hear him, Matt. Hold that one up. Uh, wow, that is a beautiful Yeah, it fish. is. <laughs> now, what was that on, you guys? Wacko jig with the June bug wacko worm because the water's been off color out here, John, the last couple weeks. So I got everyone throwing a different color, but that was literally your first cast, right, that Scott? That was first cast. All right, Scott, tell us about the bite. What happened? It was. I thought it was a weed at first. It ticked, and then it just started flying. Back of the boat, Matty B. Back of the boat after Scott's. Well, this isn't a big one. Look at that. It's a nice it's fish. A nice though. fish. So you know, but hey, come on up here. That'll give us a chance to talk about what we're using. And uh, you know, we do have stained water here, and that's something you're going to find this time of year on most lakes is an algae bloom. Yep. But I'm surprised. You know, I thought you would say go to 
real bright color, but no, you go to a dark color, huh? Yeah, June. I love June bug or the black with the blue flake. Finally, my turn. Yeah, and that. Why this is? Oh. oh. <laughs> Was that a fight? Was that a fight? Uh, I don't know, but it was. busted a line? Uh, yeah. Hooked up. Oh, oh yeah. I saw that. A There's a nice jump. There, Matty There's B. a nice jump. Oh, you won't give up. Ooh, uh, they're fun, aren't they? Oh, Matt? they pull so hard. Yeah, that and that's a decent fit. Oh, right? yeah, that's a nice hey, fit. Hey, Matt, um, you Thank know, you. this can vary dur you know, during the course of a day. These fish will move up on the wheat flats, then they'll move back out on the edge. So you really got to try both systems. Yeah, you definitely do. I mean, we're definitely going to fish some deeper stuff probably today because there's going to be at some point we're going to pull up and hit a school on a deep spot. But there's a lot of bait in here. The wind's blowing in here and they're in here gorging right now. Hooked up, John. Again, same spot. Haven't met boats on spot lock the Minn Kota. And there you go. Now, look hey, at Matt, the build on I, these. I really do have to talk to you about the type of line that you use. And you're using eight pound Seaguar, and they're the company that actually invented fluorocarbon back in the 70s. But yep. Seaguar is, is so, such an awesome line that the fish can see it, and yet it's strong, right? Yeah, super strong. I mean, it's, it's uh, I just like the way it feels, John. It doesn't have no stretch compared to a mono. Right. It's clear, it's awesome in clear water, dirty water, and it's just super strong. So look at, we're pulling big fish out of weeds right now, and eight pound, we're not busting it. How many casts in a row is I that? I know, I got to, I'm gonna, Valerie's getting that spot now, that's three for three. Well, that's one thing, folks. Matt that finds thing. a spot and he hogs it and keeps, <laughs> he keeps Valerie from catching a fish. Valerie, stand I next tried. to him. I, now, do you feel bad when the guide catches all the fish? I'm, hey, we're just building a show. Now I'm stepping back and I'm, no, she's getting Valerie, the spot. You know, he says, cast over to the right, Valerie, and then he casts to the left. No, that's pure luck. Off. Our baits are side by side that time. <laughs> Scott, Mr. Baitmate. All right, buddy. He just soaked that in Baitmate, didn't you, Scott? Yes, I did. All right, let's see what we got. Uh, this is incredible fishing, folks. <laughs> oh, that is a nice one. Yeah. There you go. Hey, Scott and Valerie, seriously, I mean, how long have we been in this spot? Do you think about 10 minutes? Oh, 10 probably minutes. about 10 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> And I, you know, nice fish. I've been fishing with Matt a lot of years, and he's taught me about how these bass school up. Yep. And I believe it, don't you? Very much, yeah. We've caught, I don't, can't even count how many we've caught in the last few minutes. And what are you using? A wacko worm. Blake has got a Finally. decent one on back here, Matt. Oh, yeah, I like it. And you know what's interesting, folks? We're seeing fish feed all over the place in this weed flat. Keep your rod tip up, Blake. Keep your rod tip up. And. Oh, there, oh, one more, one more, beautiful yes. bass, Blake, Ooh. look at this one. Folks, uh, that is a gorgeous wow. fish. Look at that, yeah, Blake. Look. Nice job, Blake. That is, look at the, that's a fatty, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. The mouth on the wacko. And tell the folks what we're seeing out here. There's fish jumping all over. Oh right? yeah, there's like three that we just saw jumping. And they're chasing bluegills <laughs> up, and you cast it right into that, didn't you? Yep. Valerie, Valerie, yeah. yay! Matt finally let her cast into the spot. <laughs> <laughs> Way to go, Valerie! This is a good one too. This is a good one, John. Oh, Blake's got one. Oh, on the that's back. a good let's, one. Let's that's get a good let's one. get Valerie's in. That's a good one. Oh, that's a nice oh, yeah. fish. Okay, we're gonna need the net back here, Scott. Oh. oh, now Blake, get yours in. Now keep your, whoa. Boy, Blake, oh, this oh. is a, this oh, that's is a tank. That that's is a, a tank. This is a tank. Okay, oh, Blake, oh. look at that. Matty B, come on back that's here. Sick. Valerie, come on back here. Scott, you get out of the way. Yep. We got to take a look at these fish. <laughs> well, what do you think, Valerie? Oh, that was a great fight. What do you think? Awesome, I got one right after her. Yeah, and uh, I can't believe this, Matt. There's look, so many big fish in look one spot. At, look at the build. I mean, there's, I don't I don't want to say how many are here, but I don't plan on moving the boat anytime soon. No, you got the Minn Kota <laughs> on spot lock. But have you ever seen bass fishing quite this fast? It's, it's fun. Yeah, it is. What do you think, Blake? Cast after cast. Cast after cast. <laughs> Nicely done, guys. We just let those two big ones the girls caught. Yeah, they're and, taking still picks, John, and I throw literally throw out the next cast and cook another big one. I mean, I can't believe the average size that's just sick it's just i don't want this day to end look at this thing just bulldog Ooh, that's a nut now that's a below average there maddie b yeah but th that girls. battle though is just unbelievable just said that's not as big as the girls there matt <laughs> not bad though buddy no it's a good i mean fish. i can't believe how many fish are in this spot oh john they are just gorging this in is here. this is unusual oh yeah this is 
exceptional. And when you find the Caesar special days of cherish and just keep catching them. Oh, Matty B, finally in the back of the boat there, buddy. There is a trick to this, folks. Let me see if I can flip this guy in. Here he is. I don't is. know if I'd flip that one. I don't either. He's pretty good size. Whoa, no, I ain't flipping no, him in. No, no, that's we a good one. We gotta get old Scott the net man here. There we go. Good job there, buddy. Just pass him right up here. But Matt, what I was going to ask you, and I kind of figured it out myself by watching you there, uh, you cast this thing out and you can show the folks, you don't do anything right away. You just let it sink. So I'm throwing it out as far as I can because when they're schooling like this, you don't want to get right on top of them. So you make a, far, a cast as far as you can in literally seven, eight, nine seconds. You just sit here and more than half these fish that we caught on that initial fall and your line just takes off. After eight or nine seconds, John, if you don't get one, lift it up and just pop it a couple times. You're moving it forward, hopefully to hit one of those weed pockets. Let it fall back down, four or five seconds, lift back up. Typically when I get about halfway back to the boat, I reel it back in and fire it back out. Well, that school, Good one again. that school left though, we, we're moving now, right? Yeah, we moved about 50 yards down and, and uh, we're back on them now. It looks like this is a really good fish, John. Oh, is that oh, a big guy? Baby. That is a big guy, man. Look Never at that, gets folks. old. Look at that fish. And what are we? Uh, oh. 45 minutes from Milwaukee, 45 minutes from Chicago, Matt? Yes. I Look mean, at that. I, you know, you and I have fished together a lot of years. I consider Delavan to be one of the best bass lakes in the entire Midwest. Yeah, pound for pound. These fish are just, they're, they're built better than any lake I've seen, John, in most of the state. I mean, these fish are just incredible. And a lot, of, a lot of this is timing. Keep hitting your spots, keep hitting your spots, and all of a sudden you get out of school and in 50 yards you catch 20 of them. And today is July the 23rd. Yes. And, the, and we're catching fish like this. It's unbelievable. What do you got, Matt? Nice largemouth. I took off, hit like a freight train. I thought I had a nice pike on, but no, it's a good largey. Oh, that's another dandy. Tanky. Dude, I tanky cannot, tank. seriously. I've been, we, you know, you and I fished together a ton, man. I, I, we've caught a lot of bass together, but this average size is impressive, you know? Yeah, it's, they're just, when they're eating and you're on them, and, and it comes can, together. What's, you can get them up to five, six pounds. Oh, yeah, definitely. I, I, I would love to see someone catch a five plus because that's a true trophy in southern Wisconsin. We were fishing Delavan Lake in Delavan, Wisconsin, a one and a half hour drive from Milwaukee, one and a half hours from Chicago, and five and a half hours from Minneapolis. Excellent. Oh, there's a good one. Awesome. Beautiful fish. Look at how he ate that, he too. Ate that Google Eye jig. This is the Google Eye. It's available in a live bait series and then a long hook shank series. And what we did is we took a glass rattle and built it into the middle of the round jig head and just bouncing it and hits the bottom. That glass rattle's rattling and it's sending off vibration in this dirty water in this river. And that's the result right there. This one's coming home with me. Fleet Farm has everything you need for every season of life. From tending the vegetable garden season to planting 100 acres of corn season, Fleet Farm is your one-stop shop. Whether it's strawberry jam season, cook your walleye season, or his first set of wheels season, Fleet Farm is built for every season. Fleet Farm, built for real life. That must have hit as soon as the bait hit the water. Yep, Matt told me to cast right out in the back. Okay, steady retrieve now, right? Yep. Ooh, yeah, you've been catching big fish lately, you know that? Yeah, the girls rule the boat today, I think. <laughs> okay, Blake, let's nice. hold him. Oh, that's uh, not too bad. But you know, tell the folks you 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 have them. You you'd rather fish a fast bait than a wacky, but you like the wacky today. Yeah, the wacko is the is the bait today for sure. I mean, I thought this was gonna be bigger because of the fight, but the fight, you know, 
is the best part. Not I bad think. though, you oh. know. <laughs> you know, you and Blake are hot. Yeah, she just told me to cast right out here. Thank she you. She did not, did she? Yeah. Really? <laughs> She's like, I just seen some busting. Ooh, Jeez, let's see him, look Matt. at this Get thing. him up, buddy. Oh yeah, nice fish. Nice. But Matt, what, what are these bass doing in the, on these weed flats? What are they feeding on? I mean, bluegill, John, number one. And when they're busting a the surface like this, and you see them, and they're what these bass do is, you're, you're, I'm guessing 20, 30 of them, they're round up a big school of bluegills, corral them, and then just raise them up to the surface, and they just bust on them and eat them. I mean, look at the belly. You know, you're right, Matt. The slower, the better when you're working that wacko. Just kind of lift and drop, lift and this feels like a pretty good fish. Lift and drop, though. I'll tell you I what. Trust I trust Blake I, I, I dipping it. Move this fish, Matt. Wow. What do you got cooking there? I'm sure it's a I big know, old, man. a big green oh, one. Here he comes. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Nice <laughs> Look fish. At that. Oh, he was hooked in the side of the mouth, so he, he he's Holy a big one, though. Cow. Look at that. I mean, that fight, folks. I mean, I really had trouble getting him up there, Matt. Look at that. Look at the build on that thing, now, John. What what is that fish? about that it's three and three quarter i mean that's, that's only a 17 17 half inch fish but it's they pack on an extra did you see that fight though oh. that fight was unbelievable i mean i was trying to pull him up and, and he just kept going john this one my line just took off like a rocket i mean i can't believe how long this bite oh. has lasted but we have caught all these fish in what an hour yeah this has been an hour it went down and this is going to be my biggest or this one just has a big heart because he won't stop pulling Oh, Look at this that's thing. a jumbo, buddy. <laughs> wow. That's a big fish with a big heart. <laughs> Look at that thing. Look at your heart, man. <laughs> how big? No, how big is that one, buddy? Uh, it's four and a half. Jeez. Look at that. Oh, I got one on the back. Look here at too. this. Whoa, doubled whoa. up. Doubled up. Oh, Maddie. Look at the. Look at this rod. Unreal. Post. Look at that. Oh my. Oh, 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 Matt, this one's got a lot of heart too there, Matty B. <laughs> oh, 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 Matt! Oh, 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 my gosh! Dude! Dude, give me five, man! Look at this thing! Where do you guys see this? this just okay. putting a yeah, hurt yeah, on him right now. I mean, I, this is just <laughs> impressive, man. Extremely impressive. Oh, look at the build on these beasts. Look at that. Oh. Uh, hold them this way. I'm. Uh, which one is bigger, Ryan, the photographer? Uh, Your John's. Best. John's Your is one. bigger. You're always yeah. gonna get the, the TV host is always gonna say his is bigger. <laughs> I mean, seriously. Look at these Hour and a half we've caught all these. Fish. Just smashing them. I mean, I don't want the day to end, do you? No, and we're. we're it's almost like around 11 o'clock. Oh, oh, Valerie's got one. Valerie. We're gonna have yay, three giants. Yay! Okay, Valerie. Okay. Oh, oh yeah. Oh. Come back to the hog club, Valerie. Okay, guys, hold these up together. Oh. I mean, is, is that that's impressive. I don't care if you're on Lake Okeechobee in Florida. <laughs> you know, look at that. Three in a row. Three. It's a triple. It's a triple. Beast. Valerie, what Good do you beast. what do you think of winning this bait mate trip? <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah, and that bait mate does work, doesn't it? It does. Yep. You just put that on the plastic before you cast out, and it helps, doesn't it? Wacko it up. Wacko it up. Breaking news from Fleet Farm. Right now you can get a 150 yard spool of Power Pro 5 to 50 pound test. Again, just $10.99 right now for Power Pro line. Matt, I'll tell you what, you and I are giggling, aren't we? Yes. I mean, this is impressive, buddy. It's just crazy. This is absolutely impressive, buddy. I don't know if I've ever experienced bass fishing this good anywhere. No, ever. this is as good as it can get right here. Okay, who's got a net here for me? I got you, Dad. Okay, whoa. Ooh, that's another <laughs> slavo. They're all, all slavos. Oh. No, uh, Blake, we've... we've have you ever seen fishing this fast? No, and at first it was pretty slow this morning. John, I got one on, John. He's got one on up there, Ugh. too. Look at that. But when's 9 o'clock hit? Hasn't stopped No, since. we're doing really oh. No, he's got, yeah, Matt's got oh. one. <laughs> Are you giggling, too? John, I'm giggling. It just can't get enough of this. My gosh. Oh, Look at this. boy. Wow. My no, gosh. I, I'm, dead, I'm dead serious, Matt. I'm 67 <laughs> years old, and I have never experienced bass fishing like this, this in my is life. incredible. Have you? No, this is up at the top. 
Okay, guys, one of the favorite parts of my day is... Johnsonville brats. You bet. But today I don't have brats. I have Johnsonvilles, but they're mild Italians. And I love these. And, you know, out on the boat they taste wonderful. They're easy to cook. I put them on the grill on medium heat. Do you know why I put them on medium heat? I don't. Because you don't want to burst the skins and have all Got those it. good Johnsonville Italian juices come out. And you just cook them until they're golden brown, and they are wonderful. They're great. Cheers. Valerie, aren't those wonderful? And you guys have Johnsonville's at home all the yes, time? Yes, we do. I do too. They're great, aren't they? They're very good. I'm Blake Gillespie here at Fleet Farm, the ultimate fishing headquarters. Summertime is topwater time. With high temperatures, bass hide in heavy weeds for shade and cover. Surface frogs are weedless baits, and I can't wait for the excitement of a top water explosion. Come to Fleet Farm to check out the great assortment of hollow body frogs and get your top water boogie on. Uh, oh, Pete, I'm getting too old for this. So, John, you haven't heard of Brian's Custom Steps? Oh, Pete, those are awesome. How can I get it set? Yeah, I love these big no-slip platforms, and they're made right here in Wisconsin. For more information on Brian's Custom Steps, call 920-315-0333. Folks, running a big two-stroke engine this year, I've really gotten to rely on the Amsoil HP Marine. This really makes my engine run better, doesn't it, Len? It does. We do a lot of testing behind the scenes on these particular products, and a couple of the big things to think about is wear protection and detergency. We make sure that there's nothing building up inside that engine. We're also protecting it from wear, because these are the things you don't look at until something happens. We make sure it doesn't. And a lot less smoke, right? Right. That's something that we actually do. We, we look at uh, trying to produce less smoke. That's one of the main things. And for more information on both the HP two-stroke and four-stroke marine, you can go to amsoil.com. Let us make this absolutely clear. The days of wasted casts and missed opportunities are over. New Mega Imaging takes fishing into the megahertz range for the first time because higher frequency sonar means higher frequency of this. Without a doubt, it's the most detailed picture of the world below ever. And it's only from Humminbird. Oh, and it's a good one. All right, well, hey, how was that Johnsonville Italian, though? Delicious. I had two. Oh, oh look at that. That's a dandy right there, Matty B. Yes. That's a dandy. See, you take a break, you have a Johnsonville Italian, and what comes next? Well, one push of four pounds. Yeah. Now, this spot, it, well, I think what we should tell the folks, these fish have basically been anywhere from 7 to 14 feet, right? Yeah, this fish just came off the weed line out here, and there's a little rock mixed in out here, and I switched up to the drop shot weenie worm, and look at how far that hook is down in his mouth. Nicely done. Hey, Blake! Yeah, way to go, Blake Aru! You got a cheering section on shore, too. Oh, this one is. Let's see him. Let's see him. Oh, oh, oh way to go there, Blake Aru. All those people are clapping in there for you. There you go. And you know, that's one thing I should bring up, folks. You know, you see all these speed boats around us, pontoon boats. We're in the middle of the day, we're catching on a bass. Smack yeah. yeah. that middle. We moved on now to like that's 18 feet yeah. of water now because yeah. it's the middle of the day. Yeah. And there's they're out here. But isn't that amazing with all the noise going on and everything yeah. else? I'm surprised they're still biting, but well, they're they are. beautiful yeah. fish. Wave to your fans. Woo! It's now time to announce this week's winners of the Fleet Farm, John Gillespie's Waters and Woods 2018 Fishing Contest. This week's first winner is David Michael of Franksville. He caught this 24-inch bass on the Mississippi on a minnow. Dan LaFond of Manitowoc boated this 40-inch salmon on Lake Michigan on a flasher fly. Dennis Notham of West Bend caught this 34-inch garfish on Lake Nakabe on a leech. Dan Lucci of Apple Valley, Minnesota caught this 29-inch walleye on Lake Ida on a leech. And this week's kids winners are Hunter Martin of Stillwater, Minnesota caught this 6-foot sturgeon on the Rainy River on a worm. And William Brazell of Muncie, Indiana caught this 13-inch crappie in Iowa on a twister tail. Our adult winners receive a $25 Fleet Farm 
Farm gift card, and our kids' runners will receive a Plano tackle box. Fleet Farm, your fishing gear headquarters. Hooked up, John. I can see that, man. Deep weed lines. I know. And that's what we've done, you know, folks. Oh, it's a nice pike. What do you got? Nice pike. Well done, guys. Grab this critter. And that, yeah, they're feeding on the same things on the weed lines, huh, oh. Matt? Yeah, they are. Can you get, grab them there, buddy? Yeah, I'm not getting that hook out without pliers, so I just bit the nice line fish. quick. There are some big pike in here, too, aren't there? Yeah, John, there's a lot of big pike in here on these deep weed lines. Now we got Valerie giggling up in the yeah, front of the boat. Yeah, she's giggling. There, oh, yeah. Oh, that's a big one. That rod's oh, doubled yeah, look over. At that. Look at that. See him, Matt? Not yet, not yet. Oh, oh yeah, look at that hogger. Look at that, Valerie. <laughs> Beautiful fish. Hey, Matt, one thing, buddy. You know what? Those, those weedless up. jigs give you a great, they're great for fishing different depths of water, you know? Yeah, you can get out and fish 20 feet. Right now, we came back to this flat in 8, 9, and with that guard on there, you can pull through the weeds. It gets hung once in a while, but give it a hard jerk and then let it fall back down and Did you bingo. expect this good of fishing today, Valerie? Be honest. No. Valerie, the bait mate girl, the bait mate girl. All right. And oh, we got a big one here, Valerie. Oh, yeah. Nice That's nice. Look at that one. I mean, that's Look at just that fish. amazing. And, oh. and, and Matt, you've tournament fished most of your life. These days don't come along very often. No, these are special days when you catch this many big ones in five hours. Scott, have you seen it this good before? Never. Never seen it this good. I mean, it is amazing. Valerie, you're quite the bass angler. Thank you. The future of boating is here. Now, get all the thrilling performance of an Evan Rudy Tech G2 in the new 150, 175, and 200 horsepower. Bass fishing's fun, but half of these tournaments is like a boat race, trying to beat everybody down the lake. And with that Evan Rudy e Tech G2, it's like driving a Corvette. That thing is passing everybody. All the best in class torque of the Evan Rudy e Tech G2 is now available from 150 to 300 horsepower. This is a whole other level. The G2 is awesome. To learn more, or visit evanroot.com. If you fish, chances are you've used a must-add hook. That's all we use. Mark, get him in there. Army tank, Daredale. Oh, oh there nice. is a big boy. I mean, I just can't believe this, folks. Oh, let's see him, yeah. buddy. Look at that. That yeah. 10 seconds, though, makes a big difference, buddy. Well, that one is a gorgeous fish. Is that pushing three? That's three. We're going to weigh it. Must have the world's largest manufacturer of fishing hooks. Get the point? We did. Best hour and a half of fishing you've ever seen? Yes. That was awesome. And Scott, thank you, buddy. Thank you very much. And a huge thank you to Baitmate for sponsoring the trip for the two of us. We had a great time. Baitmate's been a sponsor of mine for 27 years. I'd like to thank them too, right? Yes. OK. And folks, that is our show for today. Please join us next week. I don't know we're going to fish yet. We will find a place somewhere. Until then, I'm John Gillespie, <laughs> hoping to see you enjoying John Gillespie's Waters and Woods. Hey, hey. Hey, John Gillespie. Hey, hey. Yeah, but that's right.